I'm Tina Martini, Global Head of McDermott, Will & Emery's Trademark Prosecution and Controversy Practice. Innovative executives are paving the way ahead as we face significant challenges related to the coronavirus pandemic and addressing racial injustice. In Leaders Moving 2020 Forward, we present their insights and ideas for proactively handling these difficult problems and removing roadblocks. Joining us now is Kim Manna, CEO of Panama Jack. So Kim, let's kick things off by discussing how you and Panama Jack are showing your commitment to customers and employees during the pandemic. Well, we've had a loyal following really with this brand since 1974 and then have continued to develop you know, the younger generations really from the, the legacy of you know, passing down through their families through multiple categories within the brand. So what we started off in were core lifestyle products like sun care and ultimately at this point have hotels and bicycles uh, and home furnishings. So the brand is so vast and broad that we've attracted a new customer and a larger different demographic than we had from you know, the original beginnings of the brand. Uh, in terms of employees, we've had uh, loyalty within this company for quite some time. Most of the employees have been at the company for 10 plus years. So to us, we're all like a family. Uh, it's a very diverse group of people and, you know, we all get along really well, work together very well. Kim, how has your company been impacted by the pandemic? In the beginning, I think we were somewhat stunned because everything came to a screeching halt and weren't really sure how things were going to unfold. But as time progressed over the first two to three, four weeks, we realized that there was a surge in bicycle sales. There was a surge in some of our home furnishings. Uh, sun care people were spending a lot of time outside that otherwise they probably normally wouldn't have, not to mention that they were home with their families. Uh, so there was a, you know, there was something that was happening and unfolding in front of our eyes where there was this interest in being outdoors and spending time with your family and, and doing things that you otherwise normally wouldn't do. Uh, we also recognized that there was a gap or a, a hole in the market where there wasn't enough hand sanitizer in, available to the consumer in the market. So we quickly developed a formulation. Obviously, we developed formulas every day for sun care. We developed a formulation for, for hand sanitizer and introduced it within a couple of months and we've seen a big demand for it. So that was an opening that we didn't expect to see. Uh, but, you know, again, something changed for us and we realized that we needed to provide something to the consumer that just as we do for protection with sun care, we were able to protect them with hand sanitizer. So Kim, this has been such a trying time in any number of ways. What would you say to other leaders in your industry that could give them a sense of inspiration? I think if you just, if you're open to, to working with people and understanding their background, where they come from, how they've worked hard to get where they are, to also give people opportunities that may, may not have otherwise had those opportunities. Be clear what you're looking for and, and just be inclusive. It's really important to be inclusive and, and, you know, everybody is the same. Your qualifications may differ, but that doesn't mean that you can't get there uh, if you're given the, giving an opportunity to someone. How are you working to make sure your employees feel heard and supported during this challenging time? We've had, we haven't had one case of coronavirus actually within our office, thankfully. We've all been very careful uh, and very thoughtful about everyone within the offices. We, you know, we've worn protective masks uh, but if somebody has a family member who's ill, we've been open to obviously them staying home, caring for that employee, making sure that they're safe, their family is safe, uh, and, and welcoming, them, welcoming them back when everyone was healthy. There was never any pressure for them to return until they were comfortable returning. And they knew that they you know, were welcome to return. There was never a question whether you know, if they took a month or two months off because they, they needed to for family purposes, nothing would change within their work environment or their employment. Kim, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your insights to help others learn from your experiences. I understand that there's a charity that is important to you. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? 
We are thrilled to support them as well and encourage anyone who is watching to consider donating. Well, the Melanoma Research Foundation is very important to us because melanoma is unfortunately a cancer that kills the very young. People aren't necessarily aware of the effect of UVA and UVB rays. And so they tend to go outside, not wear sunblock, they're exposed in early age. And this is, a, this is a, almost like a silent killer. And people within their 20s are, you know, they're, they're being diagnosed with melanoma at a very early age. And sometimes it's just too late. They wouldn't even expect to have melanoma, at, you know, in their 20s. So any contribution to the Melanoma Research Foundation who we've partnered with for several years now would be a great donation to save lives. Kim, that's such a worthy cause. Thank you so much for sharing that and for also sharing all of your insights and experiences. And to everyone who is watching this interview, we hope that you and your families are safe and well. You can look for more videos of Leaders Moving 2020 Forward on our website, mwe.com. Thank you very much for watching.